Hello again, everybody. Welcome to the Epic Flight Academy. My name is Mike Thompson. In this online program, we have three parts. The online course itself, these accompanying videos, and consultation with your flight instructor. You must complete all three parts to be successful in this course. So what's our topic today? Today, let's talk about the ignition system. Now, to understand this ignition system, we're gonna break it down into four pieces. The magneto, the spark plugs, the wires, and the ignition switch itself. I want you to start by taking a look at these magnetos. If you look at the bottom of the diagram, these magnetos symbolized here are actually mounted into the back side of your engine. That's the side of the engine closer to the cockpit or the firewall. The front side of your engine is further away from you and that's got the propeller. Okay. The back of that engine has what we call a gearbox. These magnetos are mounted into the gearbox on the back of your engine. So when your engine is running, it's turning these magnetos. The magnetos are called magnetos because they use magnets. In some later lessons, we'll talk about the inner workings of the magneto. It uses electromechanical energy with spinning magnets to create a high current and voltage to spark your spark plug. All right, those are the magnetos. Notice there's two of them, left and right. Now, next let's take a look at the spark plugs. Your engine has four cylinders and you can see them numbered here. One, two, three, and four. Each of those four cylinders has two spark plugs. Why two spark plugs? Two spark plugs in the top of that cylinder gives a nice even burn to that fuel air charge and helps that engine produce a lot of smooth running power. Now the third part of this ignition system are these wires. Notice in our diagram, these wires are color coded, blue and green. When you trace these wires, you see two green ones and two blue ones from each magneto. The green wires run to the spark plug in the top of the cylinder. The blue wires run to the spark plug in the bottom or the, the lower side of the cylinder. So let's think about, think about that for a second. Why are we doing it this way? What, what's going on here? Well, remember, ideally, both spark plugs are running. The engine's producing smooth power. In aviation, as you know, we are very safety conscious. We're always thinking about safety. We're thinking about what if scenarios and we're thinking about redundancy. So here's our what if scenario for today. What if one of these magnetos were to fail? Let's say, for example, this right magneto just fails. It's out of the picture for whatever reason. Again, we'll talk more about the inner workings of magnetos later. We are left with nothing but the left magneto. Now notice this left magneto has two green and two blue wires. Notice the two green wires from the left magnetos are running to cylinders one and three. The two blue wires from the left magneto are running to cylinders two and four. That means one magneto is still firing all four cylinders. Now in that cylinder with one spark plug firing, the engine is not running as 
efficiently and it's not making as much power as it would make with two spark plugs. But here's the good news. If we have a magneto failure, at least my engine is still running and that's what we mean by redundancy. I can get this airplane safely to the ground or back to my home airport. The fourth and final part that we want to look at in our ignition system is the ignition switch. Now, the switch depicted here is like the one commonly seen in Cessna aircraft products. You'll see a switch like this in the 152, the 172, the 182. In our 172, this ignition switch has a key. Notice the positions here. Off, right, left, both, start. Well, off is exactly what it says it is. R means right, the right magneto only is running. L means left, the left magneto only is running. And both means, you got it, both magnetos are running. When I move to the start position, this has nothing to do with the magnetos. It has to do with engaging the starter motor to turn the engine to help it start. Now, it is true that the magnetos will retard their spark during the starting phase because the engine is turning slower while the starter motor is trying to fire it up. Once the engine starts and it's running up to speed, the, um, the retarding of the magneto sparks is eliminated and the sparks are running normally. Well, that's just about it for our, mag our, our magneto and ignition system on the Cessna 172. Here's a quick review question for you. What drives the magnetos on the 172 aircraft? What makes them turn? What drives them? Well, that's it for today, folks. Catch you next time.